Yeah. I saved. In Breath of the Wild, I saved. Don't even worry about it. And if not, autosave is pretty good in that game. This first load screen is pretty long. That's my biggest critique of the game so far. Ooh. Audio. Hello. Lost a little bit. I think I bumped the cable and I made it upset. Let's wait for it to come back. There we go. There she is. So I've done a little bit of the campaign, I think maybe just the first actual mission. Rytel, welcome on in. The Sam and Max games, they sure are different. Yeah, I did the first mission, which was basically just a tutorial. Plus, and now let's do copter tactics. Blue Moon has a strong front at the Alara Bay. Let's teach Andy how helicopters can lift us to victory. Yeah, same amount of guns. Uh, if you've never played an advanced voice, it is in the same vein as a Fire Emblem, except that the individual units don't really have a personality. And it's more about your CO. So in this case, Nell is our CO. Olaf is a sh one shrewd tactician. As I suspected, he's deployed a number of helicopters and medium tanks to the battlefield. A frontal attack from us would be reckless. Examining all of Olaf's units, I think we have only one viable option. Throw everything we've got at him. Hmm. No, Andy. Strategy. We must capture the enemy HQ. Do you need me to explain? For that, we'll need to leverage our helicopter units. Do you need me to explain how to use them? Sure. The enemy HQ is right below you. While it might be possible to march down there, all those enemies make that a risky venture. This is where transport copters come in handy. Do you remember APCs? Just like APCs, transport copters can carry infantry and mech units. But also like APCs, they have no weapons and can't fire. Select this infantry unit so I can show you how the transport copter works. Okay. Move them here and load them into the transport copter. I select the transport copter. I can go so far and drop off the unit on the enemy's HQ. There's only one space to place your troops. Go ahead and select it. have our battlecopter. I actually would want to use the missiles first, but the game isn't going to let me do that. These air units are always flying. These two units, they use two units of fuel every day. They also don't gain defense terrain bonuses. I see. The missiles might take out that helicopter on its own. I hope it will. Pretty good. 
powerful, aren't they? Battlecopters are even effective against tanks. Let me tell you a little bit about these new air units. Even if you land them on allied cities and HQs, they won't recover HP or be supplied with fuel or ammunition. You can resupply at airports, but you haven't seen any yet. If they run low on fuel or ammo, you can restock them with an APC, just like you do with land-based units. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you were listening, Andy. Do you want me to tell you about your new ground units? No. Nope, I'm pretty sure I know everything there is to know about ground units. Yes. Great, catching on fast. You need to take out those enemy air units first. If they can protect the enemy's HQ, then our strategy might fall apart completely. So we need to be able to defend this infantry for the next two enemy turns. So first thing we're going to do... Oh, the missiles are so good. The missiles are so good. Send the anti-air after the battle copter. Also so good. No problem. All right, the medium tanks can go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I should be fine, actually, as long as this area doesn't get completely overwhelmed. This is an important time-sensitive text message. Not for the purposes of this stream. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, no, let's send it right here. Well, let's finish up the tank. That's what we can do. I could really probably just end the turn. Skadoosh. Yeah, this should be fine. Ha ha ha! I see Mel hasn't deployed any medium tanks. Go forth, Go forth my, my troops. troops. This time, nothing can stand in the way of our victory. Could you not? Hey, hey, could you not? Medium tanks hit so hard though. Oh, they're not even gonna try. They're just going to do a bad job, I see. Their overconfidence will be their downfall. Let me capture your enemy HQ. I win! Just attack. Bazookas who defeats the king. Uh, that one has the city defenses, that's why it's. So, there are a lot of mechanics going on in Advanced Wars. Other than the COs having different things that they're good at isn't really visible here because Olas is that he's strong in snow and weak in rain and Nels is that she is occasionally lucky and gets in more damage but a lot of them will have certain troop types that they're better with so like Max in the intro is very good with direct hit Troops, but pretty bad with 
ranged troops. And then there's a another CO who's the opposite. So CO powers, which he might use here. Can you withstand yes. the cold? Which isn't really going to affect me, but blizzard. he summons a blizzard, which makes his troops hit harder and also slows down my troops. Which again, isn't really going to matter because I'm already at your HQ, bud. Bud, I'm already at your HQ. Hector King. Or don't. Honestly, or don't. I'm fine if you don't. my CO power, but I really don't need to. That takes care that of that. Takes care of that. Oh. I can't believe he left his HQ wide open. It's not like this is his first time on the battlefield. <laughs> you know, Olaf is missing a key piece of strategy. It doesn't matter how strong your units are, you don't know how to use them. Uh -oh. What in the... My HQ seized? No, this smells like one of your little schemes. You this knew your troops couldn't yet. weather a direct assault. So you pulled this out of your hat? Brr, this isn't over yet. You sure are a quick study. Let's try another one. Missing three points because I let too many of my hit troops get hit, but pretty good. I don't know why it goes up to a thousand on the individual grades. They can't go above a hundred as far as I know. Got some coin. It's all coming back to you, isn't it? No doubt my lessons help jog your memory too. In the event you would like a recap on the basics, Select the field training flag on the campaign map, and we can go over everything again. As payment for your services, you've received some Advance Wars. Advance Wars coins. You can spend these coins to shop for all sorts of things. Speaking of which, there's someone I'd like to introduce you to. Hachi! <laughs> Hi there! Hi there! My name's Hachi, and I run the one and only Hachi Shop! Conveniently located on the main menu. Those Advance Wars coins you just got? Well, I deal in them. In exchange for those, you can buy all sorts of neat stuff. I'll sell you new battle maps, collectibles for your gallery, and lots more. I can even enlist new COs to play as. For fee, of course. Come buy something! Anyway, I'll be heading back to the shop now. Make sure it's up by. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Olaf may finally be taking us seriously. We've nearly pushed him out of Alara entirely, although he defeated our troops en route to the Lost Fortress. Uh. The Lost Fortress? Oh no, now we'll never find him. I know Olaf's forces are lying in wait for us in the fog of war, but I managed to secure us some units to root him out. Uh. I see. Wait, no, actually, I can't see anything. What are we doing again? Huh. Locating Olaf's troops and pushing them out of Alara. Let's go. And that's the field training. Okay. I'm going to check the shop real quick. And then we'll do that mission. Eh? A customer. Oh, it's you. Come on in. Welcome. We've got lots of stuff in stock at the moment. Real premium goods, great prices. Let me explain something real quick. 
as you work through your way through the campaign, I'll be getting all sorts of shipments. Come back again I'll try now. to give you a heads up when something real nice comes my way, but be sure to come back and check often. I like the ship unit in a bottle in the background. That's a very good touch. <laughs> Go ahead, take a look around. I can get some war room maps. on. Can't get any COs right now. I can get some musics and some artwork. Y'all come back now. We'll see. We'll see. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Fog of War. As opposed to Frog of War. Uh oh. Uh oh. This could be trouble. The surrounding area is almost completely hidden. Olaf's troops could be anywhere and we wouldn't be able to see them. War is so, War is so mysterious. mysterious. Do you need me to you call explain? this phenomenal? Fog of War. Do you need me to explain how it works? No, I played a real-time strategy game before. Great. Just remember that we can use mountains for extra visibility, and that we should always check woods for hidden enemy units. Do you need me to explain recon and rocket units? Recon are fast, and go best on roads because their wheels don't do well in grass. Rockets are like artillery, but they go even further. I'll have a bit more defense if I go here, so I think I do want to do that. <sighs> Rocket unit. And me with a medium tank ready to go. Good start. Love to see it. Capturing on this stage is not nearly as important as it is on some others, because on some stages you have bases, which means you can spend money to build troops. Can't really do that here, but you can use those cities to heal land units, so it's a good idea to try and secure them if possible. Very good, very good. Love to see it. If we get hit by a ranged attack, I know there's someone in there. Especially from an artillery. Let's see. I move everyone, we end our turn. Let the winds of snow. Let the winds of war bring snow! That's not attacking. So that makes me think there's not someone in there, otherwise they would have attacked. Try it. Yeah. If there had been someone in there, then it would have ended my turn and I wouldn't have gotten to attack. 
the snow kind of bothers now, but not enough that it's concerning me. And I was just like, eh, the snow. I'll deal with it. Almost if you the inventory that's going to get you down to worst case scenario for me, one HP. Yeah. And uh, move here. Rockets are barely going to be able to move because the snow eats up their movement. 68. Four. That space not visible. We're gonna risk it. Okay. Thought it was fine. I think it's because the recon unit is overlapping in such a way that it's not in sight. Yeah. I don't like it, but that is the way it was. I left myself a little bit vulnerable by leaving my units out on the roads where they have zero defense. That's going to be okay because I'm dominating this fight at the moment, but that was a risky thing for me to do. medium tank around the other side after I shoot it with artillery. Oh, that was a lucky hit. We'd love to see that. You know what? I'm actually going to have you go and do that. biggest, not the biggest, one of the big things to remember is that if you strike first, then the enemy units that have not yet had a chance to attack that you blow up aren't going to deal the damage they would do if they did have that opportunity. So that gives you a considerable advantage. I don't know where you still have units, but we'll figure it out. Probably in some of these woods. Yes, you do do zero DPS when you're dead. And it takes you time to kill an attack. We must not let this enemy overwhelm us. Where are you, I wonder? Let's see. Let's send this tank right here. Why didn't you fire, you silly Billy? Is my rocket in range? Not quite. Two away. Okay. I'm gonna go down there. This tank is gonna go right here. Spot a rocket in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just out of range, it looks like. Yeah, that's fine. Move, 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 
Con can't get there in time. That's everyone. End turn. Moving that artillery was very silly. Should have at least done some damage. You can't use your ranged attacks after you move. You have to be set up and ready to go at the start of the turn. Kaboom. Mm, might do a full kaboom because of the CO ability. Not quite. Pretty good though. There we go. That should be game set and match. Lander. Lander Calzonia. Yeah, get out there, fight with your Lander. We're just going to take it. Mm. Ah, so they've taken back some of their orange star territory. I'll concede this day, but the real battle is yet to come. <laughs> well done. Incredible job. We finally driven Olaf out of the Alara region. That said, there's still a great deal of work to do. We've come a long way in a short time. I have a feeling that you'll be ready to handle your own missions from now on. <laughs> yeah, it helps that I had such a great teacher, and that I actually listened to what you said for once. I'll remain in ready contact, so reach out for me anytime you need assistance. I guess I'm still learning, huh? We're all still learning, Andy. You're still young, but your abilities are already top-notch. Although, you could exercise a bit more patience sometimes. Good luck! Good luck! I'll be rooting for you. hopes for you. Show me what you've got. Perfect game of bowling. 300 points. 12 strikes. 4 turkeys. Orange Star forces here so soon. But wait, something's not right here. Nell wouldn't leave Orange Star's capital city unguarded. <laughs> which means a new commanding officer? <laughs> Excellent. I've lost a few battles lately, but no more. An Orange Star army without Nell is no match for me. I did almost say Orange Star me. Home Star, your influence lingers with me to this day. It's time to teach this raw recruit what war is all about. It's war. That's what it is. Whee. Oh, a mysterious island. I wonder what could be here. Hmm. I have it up. I'm not sure how much uh, time I will have to spend on streaming it in the near future. Someone that's just land units other than spam. Let's land it. 
air. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to go up against you with air. How long is this going to take? Not too long. Try Not too up. long. This is War Room, where you're given some ranging from slightly unfavorable to vastly unfavorable starting conditions. This one is actually pretty even. Maybe even tilted slightly towards the player, human player. Let me see how quickly you can prevail. And you can see in the upper left, I have 6,000 G. I get 1,000 each turn for each city or base or HQ I control. I want to go after that. That and that. Mm, do I want an APC? I do want an APC so I can try and get here as quickly as possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're trying to capture cities. It's cute. It's adorable. We all think it's very, very sweet that you're trying this. That's warning a bit. Capture the cities. You may have noticed that when Sammy captures, she does 15 capture points at a time. That's one of her special abilities. The other is that her infantry hits harder than your standard issue infantry. But her other melee troops are not as strong as a result. Her ranged are even strength. Not, it's not ideal in every circumstance, but having powerful infantry can be very useful, especially on a smaller map like this, because the biggest problem with infantry is their movement, and honestly they are pretty fragile, but they're so cheap that you can send a whole wave of them not quite Zerg Rush, but kind of Zerg Rush them. Sure. They go here. What's the range on this recon? Oh, recon could get me. So here's what I'm going to do. Capture. Place the APC as a buffer. Could go right here. I'm going to go here for the slightly improved defense versus the slightly worse positioning. I'm going to take that trade off. That's 7,000. I could build two mechs and an infantry. I could build an artillery and an infantry. I think I do want to get my artillery a uh, roll in. Spend all my money. Spend all my money. Move all my troops. Nothing more to be done. I'm gonna take not too much damage. I could take another hit like that. Anti-air is an interesting choice. They are good against infantry. What's your attack range? You could hit me either way, so I'm going to have you move right here. 44, so I'll do almost half of your damage. Yeah. Come 
in So I could have this infantry go and attack this infantry, get it down to four, or I could have it move here and get ready to provide some cover for when I'm trying to capture this city. And I think I want to do that. I think that's ultimately the better play there. One, two, three. But if I put you here, an infantry can just move here and attack. Okay, so I don't want... Try to move into attack all of an infantry ready to counter you. My infantry is stronger than your infantry. KTC, mech, and another infantry. I almost forgot to capture. That would have been bad. I would have missed out on some of that sweet cash money. That was a mistake on their part. I'm going to destroy that infantry. <coughs> oh, it went down the wrong way. Hold on. Sorry for that noise. Spike. I'm okay now. Promise. Uh, fire? Oh. Oh, that was not pleasant. That does help. And this is staying here. I could move it on here to heal, but then that would leave this recon an open avenue to come and mess up my infantry, and I want to get this city because that city is going to give me some like, good cash money coming in. Let's see. Put there an attack. But let's have you get exploded first. Attack from the woods? in the city. Very good. Love to see. Advance forward. And I think that this is just going to end up with this recon getting wrecked by that anti-air, but... At least do that damage. That city's gonna get captured next turn. It's fine. So I'm probably gonna be able to capture it back real soon. Yeah, go north. Let's drop another artillery. Uh, let's drop an APC for that infantry, I think. Yeah. Not a chance. No way. Yeah, there was my APC. Disappointing, but it's fine. Uh, that other infantry just north. Attacker is going to be able to do some damage. That's okay. 
because I have that capture speed boost. That's not gonna hurt me capturing that bottom right city. See, this is gonna do... I might be down to six. Not even, not even. That's why having Sammy is a wonderful perk. Her infantry is very, very strong. Don't even need to worry about it. No crap. Uh, those two are certainly gonna move, but... That. You're going to do that. Inventory does not do well against tank, you may be surprised to learn. The machine guns, the ratatat ones, don't do great against the tank. Have you hop down here to heal up? Going after the anti-air would be a bad idea. Because I would do maybe one point of damage and would probably be taken down to like four if I'm lucky. So we will try and mess up this APC. Because I think that's the most advantageous thing this infantry can do at the moment. It's not great, but than nothing. Good. Yeah. Advance forward. I want y'all to both move here. Got 11,000. Rockets are 15,000. So let me just confirm. I'll be getting 12,000 next turn. I'm not getting any capture. If I hold on to 3,000, I can get a rockets next turn, which would be great. So let's do. Mech and APC will cost me 8,000. And that leaves me rockets money. Which is good. I like having rockets money. Just fast forwarding through these. Ooh, half my artillery is gone. That's fine. Yeah, infantry half gone. Unsurprising from a tank. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's anti-air. That's why it did so much damage. Anti-air is also anti-infantry and is very good at that. Artillery open fire on the tank. Out on the road, completely exposed to my attacks. get rid of that recon, this tank would have a fighting chance. Sorry, this mech would have a fighting chance against this tank. Oh, I forgot I spent money on repairs. No rocket this turn. That's fine. But I don't think I can do enough with either of these two. in and drop me somewhere, but I don't know where yet. Hmm. No, I'm not. I'm going to send you back down. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and have you capture, and I'm going to have you pose to join up to heal if needed. Let's do some damage to this artillery. Not a lot, but 
Units do less damage when they have less health, and anything I can do to reduce that health is going to help me ultimately. That's going to cost money to fix the tank if I do that damage. And the recon doesn't do a ton of damage anyway, so yeah, let's do this. Back here. Heal up. Hop on in. Drop off my neck there. A little bit risky. Risky? Risky. It should be okay. Somewhat regrettable decision. Let's mess up this APC. This unit, the one that's attacking right now, probably got next turn since that anti air. Not a lot I can do there. I'd like this mech to keep healing up. That wouldn't be a good idea, so I'm not gonna do that. I will move you here so that if you want to attack the infantry you have to be on the terrain that is called road why'd I say it like that great question right, so now I want to make sure I have let's say 5,000 left so we can get three mech let's do three mech Not even a problem. This might be a problem, but not really a problem because I can lose an APC. I'm not super worried about that. Okay, that's fine. I think. I don't know how this game rounds. If we're oh, that's a problem. Bye, infantry. Okay, but I used up a lot of their energy keeping that secure. That CO power now? I do. Here I come. Ready or not. Double time. That increases my infantry and mech movement speed and attack power. Still bad. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and hit that recon unit. Nice. Nice. Yeah, let's blow up this tank. It's worth it. Let's blow up a tank. What can you do to artillery? 16, not worth it. Uh, I would like you to try and blow up this neck though. Oh, I don't want you to move them. 
about right here. I'm also loading in. If I drop you here, you don't have a lot of great places to go, so I think I will... Well, if I drop, then I can just get back in next turn. And... This area is kind of congested, to the north is not, so I'm going to build my rockets up here. Beans, we're gonna have snow. Can you withstand the cold? Blizzard! This time it's a notably more troubling development because I am gonna want to do quite a bit of movement next turn, and that will be hampered by the snowy condition. That's fine. That's totally fine. At the moment, I can still capture that city, which is going to help me out a lot. Unsurprising. Ooh, maybe not anymore. Yeah. Okay. Love to do damage. Let's get that tank. Skadoosh. As the saying goes. I'd love to capture one of your cities. I love it so much. Let's go up this recon. damage to this mech. Mountain defense versus mountain defense. I'm going to have you load in and go get into the less than the minimum firing range of the artillery to try and mess up the artillery next turn. Please and thank you. Destroy this anti-air. I don't like it very much. Move up here. Next turn, this infantry can move in there for someone else. That's good. We're getting in position. Uh, I'm just going to summon a bunch of mechs. Recruit. Purchase. However you want to call it. We are in a very good position. We have those two cities in the bottom right, which means we're getting 2,000 more G per turn. And that's good news. They have some quality troops. They've got, is this a tank? Yeah, they've got a tank and they've got an artillery in pretty strong defensible positions, but I have a bunch of units coming their way, so it's not a matter of if but when we win this thing. War Room, I do get more points if I finish quickly, so I would like to finish quicker, but I don't. That's fine. It's just video game. Y'all, it is just video game. Pretty good. Get on the tank. Taking on a tank, blowing up a tank. Good. Yeah, got to do some damage here. Starting a capture would not be a great idea. Yeah, hit the artillery.
should be enough to either destroy or severely weaken. Yeah. Jailer gone. That's very good news for me. Fall back. No, what I'm gonna do. Oh, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have you move to start capturing. I'm gonna have this APC go here so that two of the bases are blocked off. And they can probably destroy them pretty easily, actually. But then they have to do that if they want to summon more than two units next turn. I don't like how low defense this is, but I think that might be my best move. I'm going to go here and drop off the tree there, so that you're taking the hits and then can move out and deliver some hits of your own. You're going to go here. So that if someone is trying to attack you, they'll be easy to hit next turn. And you have some pretty good coverage there. I like it. I like it. I love it. Gotta have it. And hey, if anyone tries to mess with uh, my infantry here, I'll be able to blow them up with rockets. And I like that. I do have a lot of infantry. I'm going to summon an anti-air of my own, along with a... an infantry and a mech. I was tempted for a recon, but I think this is like... Oh no, one damage! This might blow up my APC. Yeah, that's fine. They really leave their ooh, they left their anti-air right where I wanted it. Thank you very much. Right in the range of my rockets. So good. So good. I do love to see it. Folks, I have to say that I do love to see it. Uh you're going to fall back. You're gonna ooh, you could blow up that anti-air, maybe. Do I want to risk that? I'm weighing if I want to risk that or not. Then I could have you go here and take out the infantry, maybe. No, I'm gonna take the sure thing. Certainly not, you would get destroyed. Start the capture process, or at least pretend to. Actually start the capture process. Go there to get fixed up. I could just destroy this mech, but I think the nine mech over there to the left is going to be able to do that handily. So you're not in range. Good. Um, 
another anti air. That's a good idea. Might be wrong, but I think it's a good idea. Nobody plows through my army like that. Hit them back. Ooh, this might blow me up. Yep, that's fine. That's honestly fine. Uh, probably gonna lose this mech. That's okay. my range, bud, so bad news for you. How much ammo do I have left? I have one and 69 fuel nice. Let's start capturing this base. And the rocket will be in range for anyone who says, hey, I want to try and stop you from doing that. There. Again, only unit in range. Nobody in range here. Could have had my anti-air take out that unit, I think. That's fine. Go here to a more defensible position than you would get from attacking that recon. Another anti air? Another anti air. Why not? Christmas is the time when you tell the truth. I think Olaf is panicking a bit. I might lose it. Yeah, if you're sending anti-air, I'm going to lose this mech. I'm in very much a winning position right now. I am not at all worried about the final outcome of this battle. The question is how quickly can I achieve that final outcome? I need to take care of the anti-air. The anti-air is the bigger fish to fry. to see it. We have no choice but to stay in. blow you up or just about blow you up yes yeah could use my artillery for that it's fine honestly he's fine if you're not gonna do a ton of damage I'm gonna have you merge that's the play there Certainly not in range of anyone even with the boost from the CO power. Just this wave of infantry. 
Bunch of mix. If you would solve one more. Ooh, ooh. Um. Yeah. The good defensible position. Love to see it. That's actually everyone. End the turn. The fury. Furry. Good for him. Oh, sorry. I got the sniffles. Oh, I got the sniffles. It's fine. That's fine. I don't like it, but it's fine. Uh, that's probably going to blow up my artillery. All this is fine. It's hurting my techniques score. Which I don't love, but not a lot I can do about it. Bye. My two win conditions are destroy all enemy units on the map or capture the enemy HQ. Movement speed is decreased. Go here. Mm -hmm. Let's blow up every con unit there. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for invoking that name. It might be another Harry. Is there another British Harry? Prince Harry? Do I want to invoke Prince Harry? I don't know. Of the options, I think yes. Um, tank infantry. Tank. Let's destroy this infantry. Oh, you're in range? You're in range, silly Billy? What a goober. What an absolute goober. Just the little prankster. <laughs> and you know what? We're gonna have so many mechs on this screen. Do I love this tank or do I? Here's the thing, Rockets is going to be able to take out this tank next turn. If I go here, they can deploy fewer units next turn. I think that's what I do. Best they can do is deploy three units this turn. Unless... Yeah, we're fine. Blow up tank. Blow up tank. the more distant infantry or do damage to the more distant infantry this should be enough no it's not you have the good defenses that's right um so 37 it's like they're the same unit type or something yeah capture the city Yes. 
now you can move in and do that. I'll permit the APC to move out and the recon to move out. But I think if I don't do this, well, you're gonna, I'm gonna be leaving the mech open either way to attack because you can just come up here. So let's do a little damage to this recon. I'm not gonna move all these mechs. I'm gonna move the ones that are on the base. Place more. I just want so many mechs. There's a very small chance that one will get involved in the action. Yeah, it's gonna get blown up. Yeah, that's gonna get blown up. Started a capture of the uh, HQ, but I think this will be okay. Yeah, 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 we've won next turn. I don't have an artillery. No, I don't have range unit in range. We win. A stunning victory. Chalk another one up for Sammy. Okay. Two fifty eight. I think that's my second best score. I think I did slightly better last time. I played this offline. All by myself. I'll be able to tell you in a moment. We get through the loading screen. Yeah, I got a 274 last time. Slightly different strategy. I went more range focused this time than I did that time, I think. It's a good game. It's a fun game. I enjoy it. Um, this is not on Game Pass, it's a Nintendo product. I think it's currently 60 bucks. If you have no affection for the turn-based strategy game genre, I cannot recommend it at that price for what is a very good uh, remake of two Game Boy Advance games. But if you're like, hey, I liked Advance Wars in the past, and I might want to play it some more, but I don't want to dig out my Game Boy Advance. Is this a good way to play it? Absolute resounding yes so far. Highly recommend it. And if you're new to the franchise, I think it's still worth checking out if it catches your fancy. I just don't know if it's phenomenal. You know? What should I say? I don't think that if you don't like a turn-based strategy game, this is going to change your mind for sure. But I think this might be a friendlier entry point than Fire Emblem. 
If only because there's no permadeath. And you don't even have to, like, toggle that. It's just that's not a thing for your units. Because they're just essentially nameless little units that you send out and your COs are the ones that have the personality. I've talked a lot. I've gone way over how long I wanted to stream. Because I really like this game. But thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the future. Bye!